Hey guys, and welcome back to the Knaves Guild. Hope you guys have been having a good weekend. I had uh, my brother up here visiting this weekend, so we saw the new Doctor Strange movie, and we went up to uh, play some board games and stuff like that here. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to start off tonight with just working on the globe for a bit. Um, keep it a little chill at the start here. Got some ideas for um, maybe improving the interactive part of the stream a little bit, but uh, for now we're gonna just kind of, uh, I'm gonna need some more time to get that ready before we launch into that. So we'll see, we might do a little bit more of the wiki today, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. And if we get any, any newcomers, maybe we'll show them around. Let me just get, uh, get everything open up here. All right, we got our globe. some reference on Google Earth. There we are. Ah, let me switch the cam over for you guys. There you go. <laughs> I do I do need reminders on that, of course. All right, and we also need We're going to want the uh, reference for my tectonic plates and mountain ranges and all of that fun stuff. Glacier zones. Hello. Welcome, Babacus. Welcome, Vorax. Just gonna start off with some uh, work on the globe here. So last the last few streams, we've really gotten a lot done on the globe. I'm not sure if you guys have tuned in for this segment or not before, but uh, we actually finished off the whole coastline up here. We've got, this is kind of the known world of Gethra, so I'm kind of leaving that for now, and uh, we're just gonna continue expanding the world. And then we started working on the Southern continent, which is actually part of the pole of the planet. So we've got done all the coastline all the way around almost now. So soon we'll be able to start moving into, we just got this landmass as well, but soon we'll be able to start moving into um, Photoshop with this and getting a lot more uh, kind of interesting details, details done on it. So come up with some actual places that might exist, but there's still a lot of, a lot of work before we get there. I think um, tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, um, we'll do we'll dive back into that uh, the world world of Gethra wiki more, um, and we're gonna I'm really gonna get things driving along with that uh, kind of revolution story arc that we started. Um, I think it I think it's gonna be really important to get some actual stories building and not just the characters, and then that'll help. We'll kind of figure out well what are these characters doing in light of these events that happen. Um, so that'll that'll be a, a bit more engaging, I think, uh, especially for any new new viewers that come along. My my vision for the future of the channel down the road eventually is to have, um, you know, all these different historical stories that really come together with um, you guys kind of reacting to what is happening with your characters, uh, and not just you know spitballing ideas for who your characters are, but rather what, what are they doing and what's, what, how, you know, what's important in their, in their decision-making in life that, that impacts that course of history. So. I 
I gotta look into at some point maybe getting some uh, royalty free music or something that we can play during these globe sequences. I do like to kind of share for anyone who comes along, they might want to know, especially with the VODs and stuff, uh, you know, what my process is here. So I do talk about that somewhat, but there's also a little bit more kind of downtime while I'm just working away on this. I know there's a page for Aralum on the uh, on the wiki, and Aralum actually hails from this continent. I'm not sure exactly where yet, probably somewhere in this area up here. So he's from very far away from our other characters, especially uh, He Who Basks in Radiance. <laughs> Baba Kess, you're very far from Aralum's homeland, half the world away. So I'll probably do, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour of this. Oh, cool. Are you, uh, you're running a campaign, uh, Babacus? As the game master or just uh, some ideas for the campaign you're a part of? Oh, no, it's, you said your players, right, yeah. Do you, uh, do you stream that as well, or are you just uh, play locally? Or, I mean, on, I guess you could be playing online, but not streaming at the same time. Cool. Nice. I'll have to see. Maybe maybe I can convince my uh my the friends from my campaign to tune in sometime. It would be nice to have you know more people uh chipping in for Gethra as well. What was the uh, what was your mini campaign about there? I think Amon Ishtar told us a lot about his campaign last time. Yep. Well, that's that's the hope. I think it would be really cool in the long run if we could get get the uh, World of Gather stream into uh, you know a really a bigger bigger form. But we'll have to see if if pe that's what people are interested or in and or not. I'd love to be able to you know uh, do this for more of the day. It's really hard with uh, with streaming to do like you know even I'm trying to make sure that everything's on YouTube and these other platforms just so that. It's there for posterity. If you guys, you know, get to interact and create something on the stream, I feel like that should be a memory that you can go back to. Um, and so I'm hoping that, you know, I can keep doing that. But it takes a lot of time, you know, when I've got a job and other stuff going on to do all of the streaming time and all the editing and everything else. Not that I edit thoroughly, but. Yes, it is hard. I mean, 12, 12 sessions is a, is a lot, so it can be hard to summarize. Perhaps too many islands on this coast, I just realized. It's all very island heavy. Looks like we're moving into another mountainous area. Pretty much the rest of the the rest of the stretch here. Interesting, yeah.
one of my unpublished story idea or or book ideas. I've written a, a few books when I was younger that never got published or anything because I was still pretty young and uh, you know I learned a lot later as I as I progressed through my education and stuff. But um, the I wrote one one uh, short book about a character named Gilifan ha Half Elven, inspired a little bit by a Dragonlance character named Tannis Half Elven, but he was a half elf who was living in Elven lands. He was a bit of an outcast because he was, um, you know, part human, and he had a, a friend, I think Callan, and they were friends at the start of the book and got separated and then they I mean they didn't stop being friends but they kind of ended up helping each other from afar without even meaning to as they both continued to you know be the heroes that they were Probably read a little bit of the Lives Together podcast later on too, if uh, if we have time. Oops. Oh, more of the story here. Sleeping sickness sweeps across the land. Ah, oh, interesting. Doesn't seem like it. A good situation for the humans or the elves, then. squiggle in there by accident. Maybe at some point I'll have to uh, tell you guys about my my other books, the Shadow Glyph books, which are quite a bit different from Megathra in, in their tone and and world building. A lot more magic. It's a bit more high fantasy. Well, Gether is a little bit. There's still magic and there's other races and stuff, but it's it's a little bit more uh, inspired by by real history, as we kind of talked about a couple times on the stream.
Nice. Oh yeah, that's always fun. Did they uh, did they enjoy it? It's always fun to have a good uh, big reveal. Friend, a friend of mine was telling me about his campaign uh, not too long ago. And in his campaign, they had, um, ah, that's always frustrating when scheduling gets in the way. The real world intervenes. But yes, uh, a friend of mine was telling about a, me about a, a story that he did where, or a campaign that he was part of where they're trying to stop this bad guy and his, and his, you know, evil plan, they thought. And towards the end of the campaign, when they finally confronted him, the bad guy explained his, his evil you know, sinister plan, like bad guys often do. And they were like, oh, that kind of sounds like a good idea. And then they ended up just, they defeat him and then just took over his plan and kept doing it. <laughs> so they it kind of ended up, the, the game master was like, not the outcome I was expecting. Because <laughs> it, it suddenly, uh, you know, the thing that he thought they were trying to stop, they ended up kind of realizing there was a whole other angle to it. Looks like I might have a couple of other viewers, so just uh, so you guys know what's going on here, I'm Nick, uh, working on the Knave Skilled um, stream here, and we're doing some world building for the world of Gethra, which is a interactive uh, game setting I'm developing where the viewers will actually be able to play characters within the world, uh, helping me flush out the history and having their own impact on the story of Gethra. But... Uh, Tonight we're just going to be kind of doing a little bit more chill work here, but uh, if you're interested and you want to check that out sometime, go ahead and you know hit follow. Be sure to to check us out when we're when we're doing the the main affair. I'm hoping tomorrow night I'll do a bit more. I've got some ideas planned for um, turning up the stakes a bit for the for the players so far. You can check out my uh, videos on YouTube or um, here on Twitch as well. And I've also got a podcast where I'm reading some of the some of the stories from within the world of Gethra, uh, specifically this uh, the Lives of Gethra story that I've written on one of my websites. That links down below as well. Um, so yeah, be sure to check it out if you're interested. Ah, oh, we're getting so close to finishing this southern continent here. And uh, as always on my on my streams, be, feel free to ask anything you'd like. I'm all for chatting about whatever and discussing world building, role playing games, writing. Babacus, do you have uh, plans for a, a new uh, campaign then? Or is someone else taking over the, the planning phase for the, for the next time so you get to play? Cool, yeah.
interesting. Is that going to be a longer campaign, do you think, or another another one that's shorter, like you were saying, the first, the last one was? Ah, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> guess it's hard to know how long it'll go. Cool. Would the players be part of the pirates or, or opposed to them? And that would be the enemy. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Otherwise, it sounded like it would have been a, a, a villain-themed campaign. Yeah, exactly. They might decide, let's be cultists. <laughs> once in a while, yeah. Once in a while, you got to be a cultist. It's just, it's just how it works. The end is almost in sight here of the southern continent. I'm curious if we continue that uh, that storyline last uh, night with the revolution in Ith over this cult that has been revealed. I'm curious if uh, any any of the players, perhaps even a new player, will be will take the side of the cultists instead of opposing them. It'll be interesting to see what happens there.
I'm curious uh, if uh, we'll have a, or another busy night the next time uh, I do that early morning one. It seems like some of you guys were uh, out on the west coast, so it might be it might be a good idea to uh, do another real late night stream for myself. But we'll see when it when when time allows. Yeah. I lived uh, actually in, in British Columbia. That's a, I'm not sure if you're in Canada or the States, but uh, in Canada here, I lived in British Columbia out on the West Coast for uh, five years. I went to university out there. I loved it. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been down through there. I actually have uh, an uncle who lives in uh, around the Portland area. It's kind of kind of ironic. I got family on both sides of the. I have. I have my mom's side of the family out in the um, Canadian Maritimes, and I've got um, my dad's side of the family. Most of them live out out west, but they did not live out west when my parents met. They lived here in the middle in Ontario. Certainly has led to during during for me anyway. It's been fortunate I've been able to visit all across on both sides of the continent, uh, you know, a few times. So it's pretty great. Uh, no, I don't recall that. That's pretty cool. Sure, if you don't mind sharing it. Keep in mind, though, that if, uh, if you, uh, like, want to, you know, publish that sort of thing eventually... Um, publishers sometimes don't want all the details to come out. I've got, uh, I mentioned recently on the stream that I'm working on, um, uh, on a standalone book that I'm, uh, like I was, you guys were asking what, you know, if all my books are in the same world or not. So I was talking about the difference, the different ones I have. So I have the Shadow Glyph novels, which I've self-published and I've got the Gethra books and, uh, I'm hoping to get, uh, the next thing that I've written published by a bigger publishing house or, uh, you know, picked up by an agent. But uh, I'm kind of kind of got to be discreet with the details on that one for now until I see where it's going to go. Publishers are always a little finicky with their rules, so better safe than sorry. But if you're not too worried about it and you just want to share it with your friends, by all means. I've spent a lot of time uh, in the in the writing industry, so I've learned a lot of those kinds of things. I went to uh, university for creative writing, so not a degree you can get many jobs with, mind you. But <laughs> but it was a, a good time to learn a lot more about writing and. Um, you know, life as a creative person in general. Hard to have any regrets about that. Nice. Ooh, yeah, it's very ominous and leaves a lot to, to 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 discover what will happen.
All right, well, there we go. We finished the southern continent entirely. A couple of islands I might add some more detail to. We're also have to see, once we get this into Photoshop, we're gonna have to see if we can uh, just layer on top the, the known world map, or if I'll need to um, kind of adjust its coastlines and stuff to match but we'll, we'll see. Let's take a look in, in two dimensions now. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. I think it always gets real skewed at the south, but that's okay. That's kind of why we're working in 3D here. Kind of crazy that I'm almost done the uh, done this global map. All right, I think I'll move on now. Done this for a little over half an hour. And I know it's not necessarily the most exciting part of the stream, but it is uh, something that I think will have a lot of payoff eventually. That. I guess we didn't use Google Earth too much today. All right. For sure. No worries, Babacus. All right, I think I'll read a little bit more for the Gethra podcast next. Um, so let me just take a look at what's next in our storyline. All right, I think we got a new heirloom chapter next. And then, oh, I see my monitor brightness is way up. That's more like it. I am pale enough as is. Thank you very much. <laughs>